Plotting a P50 curve. In the morning, before you begin testing with your Hemox, you will need to exercise the membrane and adjust the PO2 high and low. With water or buffer in the cuvette, switch to air and oxygenate for 20 minutes. While you're waiting, make sure the temperature is rising to 37 degrees. Turn the selector knob to PO2. After 20 minutes, adjust the PO2 high to 148.0. Switch from air to N2. After 20 minutes, adjust the PO2 low to 00 0.8. Now you're ready to plot your curve. Your sample should be in the instrument for at least 7 to 10 minutes, fully oxygenated, and the temperature should be at 37 degrees. You must run a deoxygenation curve before you can run the oxygenation curve. Running a deoxygenation curve. With the sample in the cuvette, turn your selector knob to PO2. Adjust your PO2 high to 149.0. Turn the selector knob to S1. Adjust gain HVS1 to 2.50. Turn the selector knob to S1 over S2. Adjust the balance knob to read 0 .000. Now your S1 and S2 should be balanced and should read the same. Check your temperature and adjust to 37 degrees Celsius. In the OEC program, click on Options then Run Setup. Select Start Stop based on pressure. In the Pressure to Start box, type in 148. Your PO2 calculation may be different. For the Pressure to Stop, type in 1. Click Apply Now then OK. Click Start and it will prompt you to open a file, then click Yes. Type in your file name, then click Open. Fill in any information about your sample and then click OK. Notice that the Start button says Waiting. Go back and check all the settings one more time before you start. Readjust any settings that aren't correct. Make sure your PO2 is at or above 148.7. Switch from air to N2 or nitrogen. Check the bubble rate and make sure that it's bubbling. As the PO2 drops, it will automatically plot the curve. The curve stops plotting automatically at 1.0. The counts are measured in seconds. S1 over S2 shows you the change or shift in the photomultipliers. At the end of the run, the software will adjust the P50 accordingly. You've just finished plotting your deoxygenation curve. Now we're going to plot the oxygenation curve. Make sure that the PO2 is below 1.0. If it's not, adjust the PO2 load down to 0.8. Click on Options, then Run Setup. For pressure to start, type in 1. For pressure to stop, type in 148. Click Apply Now, then click OK. Click Start. Click Yes to open a file for output. Type in a file name and click Open. Fill in information about your sample and click OK. Notice that the Start button turns to a waiting. Adjust your PO2 low to 00.8. Switch to Air. The oxygenation curve will automatically start to plot. The curve stops changing below 00.5. You can let the machine stop automatically or you can speed up the process by adjusting the PO2 high. Slowly turn up the PO2 high to 148 to stop the curve. At 148.0, a final software calculation will adjust the P50 accordingly. You have just plotted your oxygenation curve. Now you need to rinse out your cuvette. First, turn your gain down to 000. Now, drain your blood sample from the cuvette. If you are plotting another curve, rinse the cuvette twice with buffer. At this point, you can plot another curve or store your Hemox. If you are done plotting the curves, rinse two times with distilled or DI water. Fill with distilled or DI water just below the oxygen probe as shown here. Put the red stopper back on the cuvette and put your cuvette back into your instrument and you're done. If you hear a buzzing or beeping sound, it's because your gain is too high. Turn your gain down to zero to stop it from buzzing or beeping. The temperature is critical to your P50 result. Try to keep your temperature as close to 37 degrees Celsius as possible. 